Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix those little micro stutters and it actually, in general, improve the performance of the Azaha 3DS emulator. The problem I have is if I launch up my Super Mario 3D Land, one of the more intensive 3DS games, go to emulation, load state, I'll just load state. Okay. I was going to you know, do a break gameplay so you can see that I get, you know, quite a lot of micro stutters with the default settings. So if you got default settings, you had one there, look at frame rate and look at the gameplay. There was a big one there. Again, like there's nothing really intensive going on. The frame rate's fine. It's just these little micro stutters. And it's just maybe going to a slightly new area. Sometimes it's really bad. You know, right now we're getting the odd one here and there. But again, you know, it is frustrating. Let me close this down. Go to preferences and in graphics again there's a few things that you can do one lower the internal resolution down and you know have a look but that's not the problem here the because these as you can see for the most part i'm getting a smooth frame rate these are micro stutters not overall poor performance so that's not the issue so the first thing i'll say is go to advanced enable async sh shader compilation this will fix most of the issues can always make sure you got the you know the best graphics api selected for me it's vulcan if you have a physical device etc etc so make sure all the settings are the same here basically a enable async shader compilation which will be the big one that will you know improve performance and in enhancement so try that if that works great there's a, and one extra thing that you can do to really greatly improve performance just generally easy across the board so you can do disable right eye rendering so as you might know 3ds well is a 3d screen so you had you know two different images one for the left eye one for the right eye and you know the devices are having to render both of them that's just extra performance you know drops you can disable the right eye rendering but again it can cause you know flickering in some games but it can improve performance as well so this is a last resort but this can really really help so the like i said enable async shader compilation is the one to try first and if i open my game go to load state and i'll give you some gameplay now So I had one there last time. My group often went down like 52 frames. Now, like 5960 is where it's staying there, which is you know what we want it to be. So essentially 60 frames per second. Right now, during the whole gameplay, we haven't had any you know drops that have been oh you know luckily it's solving to 5960. You know, we're running around jumping, collecting coins. Oh, messed that one up. So there you go. So you just do enable async shader compilation that will greatly improve performance as a last resort, disable right eye rendering as well. So this has been your Azaha 3DS, like just quick tip on how to improve performance. And this works on Mac, I'm on a Mac, but Windows and Linux as well. If you have any questions, feel free to post down in the comments below. Let me know what other emulation videos you would like to see next. I look forward to seeing you there. Take care. Bye.